and then down towards the end, you have what you would call the fall with a cracker. And as the whip comes around through the air, when it gets to the cracker, it gives it an extra punch. And the crack you hear is this part actually breaking the sound barrier. Really? Traveling at over 900 miles per hour. Wow. How do you, uh, how do you, does it take a lot of work to get it to do a that? A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of scratches, a lot of cuts. <laughs> if it, you know, when that's moving that fast, if it would hit an animal or hit a human, it would cut the skin. Ooh. How so, long have you been uh, practicing that? Uh, 12, 15 years. 12, 15 years? I've been doing it, yeah. Wow. And uh, I can work both two whips at one time. Uh, 12 footers usually. Oh, excellent. But what it's used for in the days of the Old West was the, the sound was used to drive animals. So if I wanted my animals to move to the left, I would make a loud crack on the right. Ah. If I wanted them to move right, I'd make a loud crack on the left. If I wanted them to move forward, a loud crack right behind them. They never actually hit the animal with the whip. It was the loud noise was what was used to drive and move, move the stock. Mm -hmm. but as in a lot of the things that you see in rodeo and wild west shows today, entertainment was very scarce. And so cowboys had to entertain themselves. Ah. And pretty soon you'd have two or three ranch cowboys together from different ranches and bragging and leave to betting on who had the best horse or who <laughs> was the best with their whip or who was the best with their gun. And of course, when you get a bunch of guys together and they start bragging, well, then they got to show off. <laughs> and so from the things that they did showing their skills, pretty soon somebody would see it and say, hey, go on in town and show do it for us. Well, and then it became a part of, of uh, the town's entertainment. And that was the rodeo and, and uh, of the wild Buffalo Bill captured the skills of the cowboy in the show took it on the road, and that's where we knew the Wild West show was from. Yeah. Of course, then it was taken into Hollywood and, uh, you know, been shown there in you know, what we call the Western movies. And from there, the cowboy has become one of the greatest icons of the world. So it's all started out with guys kind of showing just off guy, for each other. Just a guy sitting around a campfire showing off to each other. <laughs> Thanks. And we betting, and, and, uh, and that's what we where it became our TV Western and you know, great sport of rodeo today. Great.